comedian Princess reveals her adopted daughter is Baba Ijesha's rape victim. Hmm. Following the allegation leveled against your Hollywood actor, Olari Ranchu James, popularly known as Baba Ijesha, for defiling a seven-year-old girl, comedian Princess has come to state that the girl in question is her foster child. She made this known on her Instagram page in an emotional video where she narrated how the actor defiled the young girl who is now 14 years old, seven years ago. Let's take a look at some part of the video. Now talk to the child again that what is going on? She now told us what happened. I was I, I was shocked. And I said, okay, let me call Baba Jesha, you know. I went to his page. I wrote Baba Jesha, please check your DM. Because I was trying his number, it was not going. He now sent me a message that Alpha. I said I want to shoot a movie, he should come. So me and my mom, we said that when he comes there, we'll sit him down and ask him, is this thing, is it really true? You know, is it really true? So that day we were waiting for him. When he was on his way, I now remembered what my friend had told me. And my sister, they told me that we should be careful. People we want to support Baba Jesha and say that they want to set him up if we don't have evidence. I called CCTV company to come. They came. He said, camera. When they came here, I told them it's a matter of life and death. They said, camera. They said, the camera. We asked everybody in the house to go out and stay in anybody's house. That she was afraid. We said she should calm down because she did not see him again. Since that seven years, she didn't see him until she saw him in a movie that we did together with one mama like that two years ago. She saw me in that movie and him. She started doing some, even her brothers, they're asking her what, what happened. She couldn't say it until she told us. So they now put the CCTV. He came in. As he came in, he saw that there was nobody at home. I told him that I want to see those people. I told him, he asked me, who are these people? I said, they are DSTV people. I want to see them off. I will, that when I go now, I will stay long. He should relax. He said, okay. I, I dropped my phone. I said, my phone is here. Then I, I went out. We locked the door. Two seconds, he, start, he stood up. Begin to check my whole house. He checked every room to make sure none of the children are sleeping. Kema wopi in your shape, buru. O wobo boy no lepe. O fe wa sure so that he will be sure that no none of the children is inside sleeping. He checked the whole house for camera. He checked the whole house. Then he started. I can't even begin to relay the things that he did. Arami Uba, I was shaking. Because we're monitoring it on the phone. But at the point, when she stood up to go to the kitchen, I would know that there is no, there is no, there is, there is no camera in the kitchen. The people came in. They called police. Police came immediately. The picking. I asked him, Larry, can you push it for um, this is really sad. Well, Princess also used the opportunity to slam those who have accused her of trying to tarnish the image of the actor and also those requesting for the CCTV footage of the occurrence. Now, if you would recall, Babai Jesha was arrested by the Lagos State Police Command about a week ago, and according to them, the actor confessed to actually defiling the girl. Um, this is sad. Um, I heard this news at first, and I, I didn't know how to feel because I was like, is it true? Is it not true? Because at, well, at the time I heard it, I thought it was a rumor. It was just someone that said it in passing. So I was like, is this true? Is this not true? And then I went on and I saw it on the news, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, why? Um, this thing happens. It happens. It is sad. And it's mm. more heartbreaking, you know, to know that 
I mean, when we heard it at first, it was a 14-year-old girl we heard, yeah. which is sad, which was really sad. But then to now know that he even did it seven years ago. When so seven. when she was seven, like, yeah. what could she have probably, like, probably had and he tried doing that it again. you found attractive? Yeah. Like, there are so many sick people in this yeah. community, in, in, in the world generally, because this happens a lot. It's just sad. And I'm grateful that the girl, is, the girl in question was, you know, strong enough to, you know, tell the story and tell somebody because usually we see this thing happen and it's a thing where they've been they threatened, can. you know, yeah. and bullied emotionally mm -hmm. and, they, they, and because they have people that they don't even trust, mm -hmm. like they parents that don't even trust their children. Mm -hmm. Another person that confessed this kind of situation to her parents and they took her to the exact pastor that did it to pray for her. Horrible. It's like, Horrible. It's, it's just as really said, heartbreaking. It's, it's really heartbreaking. And uh, <gasps> as you said, when Jeez. we first heard about this story, we had to first of all fact check. Is it true? Is it not true? Now that we know he's arrested and he has confessed to doing mm. this, I find it very crazy, as you said, that he was yeah. trying to even reenact it in the yes. house. I feel like that's the problem. That's even beyond an issue. That's like pedophilia at its best. Mm -hmm. And I you feel did like... Seven years ago you did it seven years ago. And, and how again. many people ha have also experienced, experienced this? Experienced this. It, it's very disheartening. And I feel like he has to get the full um, judgment towards him because mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying, oh, you see, because he's a celebrity, there's, there's some people that? that are saying that as well. And uh, as we always like to say, innocence until proven guilty. But if someone comes out to say these kind of allegations, we've talked about it over and over. Someone says, this person did X, Y, Z to me, especially when it's something serious like rape. We should not shut well, the person down. Yeah. Especially when it's a teenager. Don't shut the person down. Look for evidence. How, how, what if she didn't have a CCTV footage? What yeah. if the um, princess was not the person who took her in? Yeah. That like, is just mental trauma. Yeah, I, I, I like the angle princess came through. Uh, yes, because people have been saying... We didn't know it was Princess that was involved when, yeah, the, when the story of the girl came out. And but princess, I think some people knew. Yeah, some people in the yeah, industry. Some, some people knew in the industry, and people were already um, attacking, accusing her. Her, attacking her. That yes. Why do you want to tarnish Baba Ijesha's image, blah, blah, blah. Um, if it's even true, let's see the CCTV footage of this thing. And people well, are that saying, is not your business. What, no, it's not like, like, why do you want to see the CCTV, uh, CCTV footage of somebody defiling somebody to be shot. Do you understand? And they, you arrested, they, arrest, they arrested uh, Baba Ijesha. The police said they were investigating proper. And Princess just had to put this video out yesterday night saying that this thing, it's me that it happened to. So it's not even far. The person that it happened to is not, it's me. So I cannot come out. This was somebody that was close to me, Baba Ijesha, because for my story, the video is very lengthy. That she was, they were working together and it was helping him. Um, bag some degrees that they were close. So why would she want to tarnish yeah. the image of somebody that she's close to? In all honesty, to? this yeah. thing happens with people that you trust. And I, I see me, I, I've always said it. I'm not going to trust my daughters, even my sons, because most of the guys, like if you ask, if, they, if you have 10 guys, if you ask eight of them, they were molested as children. Yeah. Their first experience, they were molested. So it's not just a girl yeah, child thing. thing yeah. It's like you can't even trust the people around you. And it's even, it's, it's like, this happens from people that you trust one too. This is the thing where you know that she, that's her first, she adopted this child. Yes. Like she doesn't have a child. And that's why where she said, you know, they're more like, yeah. you know people these things. And you, with her on I can't be human together. beings, man. Oh, jeez. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll just keep our fingers crossed as the investigation continues. Yeah. Since it's locked up already.